Hello everyone, this is Jackie with Paper Cuts, and today it's Mixed Media Monday. This uh, video is kind of uh, not really a mixed media. Uh, I'm doing a whatever Wednesday, I think. I saw a video from Taddy Treasures, and I don't know if it was her idea or somebody else's idea that she just did, but we all have these clear plastic bags that we get our doodahs in, stickers in, all kinds of things. And she showed how she covered the border of them to make them a little more hefty and created these pockets for her junk journals. And I thought I would try that today. So that's what we're going to be doing. Off to my left here, I have my stack of scraps. I pulled out some music paper, and um, I was kind of folding it, and it's too brittle. So I got some different music paper. It's, it's, it cracks, so when you fold it, it cracks, and I don't like that because I do want to stabilize my edges. So... I pulled a brand new book out. Uh, this book is a tune a day, uh, learning how to use the violin. And so I thought I would be using this instead. So I'm just going to rip out a few pages because we're just going to add them to our border. I definitely am not going to learn to play the violin at this phase of my life, <laughs> but some people could. Anyway, so I've got a couple of pages of music paper, and um, I have a bunch of scraps uh, that I need to get used up, but my thought was, let's get the writing, is that... Um, if I make up two or three of these, then I can make some journal cards to go in them and they'll be ready to roll. So I'm just going to tear some, uh, what is it called, book page. And this book page is kind of brittle too, but it doesn't crack like the other ones. So, and then we'll put some... So we're actually doing some collaging. Uh, I don't think you can uh, call that mixed media, but uh, here's my first bag. What I did was each bag has that little fold over and that little uh, tape closure, and I just cut those off. So now this is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, our pocket. But I'm just going to put kind of a border around here. And I'm not going to be overly uh, particular about it uh, being perfectly even. So I'm just going to tear some strips that I can fold in half. And this is some, uh, it's not wallpaper. It's uh, shelf lining paper. So I'll cut, uh, tear my strips like this, and then we'll cut them down and glue them like this to create a border all the way around, and then the bag is see-through. So uh, it will give us a nice little pocket. So... Uh, basically, I hope everybody's doing well, and uh, I have been doing some furniture refinishing. I bought an old chest. It's a metal chest from an antique store for $25, and I saw on Pinterest um, a chest using uh, like a suitcase 
and putting some legs on it. So I'm making this shabby chic vanity to go into my bedroom. Uh, long story short, I painted it. I have gotten it. Uh, I, I made the legs. Well, a friend of mine's dad had a, a woodworking shop and he passed away and so the mom was getting rid of a lot of the things that he had created and wood etc etc so long story short I bought a bunch of wood and I bought these beautiful pine no I think it's pine um, legs that he had done and they were perfect for this project so I went ahead and mounted them to the chest I'm just sorting through my scrap paper to get the thinner stuff not I don't want it too overly thick um, so anyway so uh, I mounted those and then got it painted now I'm doing all of the uh, detail work on it and that's taking me a little more time than I had thought but you know I can only do so much at a time and then my eyes start going bonky because it's little tiny pieces okay I think these will be good those are kind of all the colors in the Okay, so I sorted out my scraps, got what I want. I think this one's a little thick, so we're going to put that back in and get those out of the way. Uh, so anyway, to go back to what I was talking about, um, I've been working diligently on trying to get this chest done. I painted the chair, um, padded the seat with some fabric I had bought um, from Sacred Me Mementos, some vintage flower. And then I padded the inside of the chest and oops getting a little crazy on my tearing um, so it's almost finished and I'm really excited about it needless to say um, I think you can um, do these up ahead these little strips um, and get them all cut down I should have probably done that prior to doing this video but I did not so I'm doing a few now we'll get one put together and then uh, I'll make a few more and then we'll do some tags for them. So anyway, this chest is just adorable. And I, I went on Etsy to see if anybody sold chests like this. And they sell them for $400 a piece. So... I don't know. I had so much fun with it. I was thinking, well, maybe I'll do a few more and see if I could sell them at $400 a piece. It does take a lot of work, um, I have to admit. Because, you know, it's not like you just paint it all one solid color. You want detail in it. Uh, some of them on the Etsy 
on Etsy. They decoupage them, but they're just beautiful. You can use them as a nightstand, uh, all kinds of things. So I can't wait to show you all what it turned, how it turned out, and see what you think of it. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I know I have been, there, there's a lot of heat in California right now. Uh, it was cool, cooler last week, and now it's up in the hundreds again. And I live up in the high desert, so it's even worse, but it makes it kind of hard to do anything. My crafting table and my sewing table are set up in the garage, so the temperature just gets urgh, really bad, and I can't hardly stand it. So I haven't been doing a lot of crafting. I've been hand painting the chest indoors just to stay cool. And that is about all I can get done a day. I'm doing one side a straight edge and the other side a torn edge. Uh, and that way you don't see the opposite side. Okay, so with this I'm going to try and use that new beacon glue that I got um, and see how well it works on this. You do want a clear dry glue uh, because you're using a clear bag and you don't want your glue to show. So you can use Fabri-Tac as well. That'll work just fine. I'm just cleaning off my nozzle here and opening my new glue up. Sorry, I did that off screen. But I didn't think you wanted to see me play with it. Okay, now let's see how... Oh, there we go. Okay. So I got the lid off. Got my glue ready. I'll be right back. I gotta turn on the fan because it's already heating up in the garage. All right, so we'll do one or two of these and then and I'm gonna just put a little glue on each side. I'm not going quite all the way to the edge because I don't want it seeping over, but I co collect all of these bags because I keep thinking, oh, one of these days I'm going to use them, and I don't. I, I uh, end up forgetting about them and never have really known what to do with them. Oops. So, long story short, I'm really excited to see how this works out. And uh, there's no, you know, right or wrong way to do this, obviously. Um, probably could have inked my edges beforehand. But see, the back side is this perfect square. So if you want to do it as a flip, you could do a double-sided 
uh, tag or journal card inside it. And um, it would be really cute. If I like this beacon glue, I'm going to go get a few more bottles because the Fabri-Tac is really getting pricey these days because everybody wants it. I'm just going to trim off this little edge here and make it straight. So I hope you're cooler in a, than I am these days. I guess by tomorrow it's supposed to be up to 110 and that's a little warm for me. I find that when the temperature gets that hot, I am not very productive at all. Now you can go ahead if you want and do this top edge too, just to make it a little sturdier to get your tag in and out. I am going to do it on the front, but I'm not going to do it on the back. And then I had mentioned to you, you can also uh, use them as flips and I'll show you what I meant by that. So these guys are really quick and easy to put together. And I think they are absolutely adorable. So Tanya, I appreciate you doing the video on it because if you were not the originator of it, I have never seen it before. Okay, this is gonna be a little more challenging. There we go. I couldn't get it in. All right, now we're in. And if you got some hanging off on the edges, you can just trim that off. So this front on this one is covered. Um, I think I will go ahead and do the back one as well, but I'm going to go ahead and put this piece on first. Uh, what piece do I want? I think I'll use the blue again. Um, yeah, so thank you, Tanya. Uh, I haven't figured out how to link other people to my videos. Uh, their channels. I am kind of challenged that way. So if you... Uh, I want it the other way around like that, I think. So yeah, if you haven't seen Tanya's video from Teddy tattered oh my goodness tattered treasures um you should go check her video out she is where i got it from and uh she's one of my regular people i watch that'll work and again they don't have to be perfect Basically, you just are making them a little more firmer so you can slide something into the bag. But your tags or your journal cards, whatever you do to put in them, uh, There. So now we have a nice little border. I'm just going to 
you cut this green card down so you can see what I'm talking about as a pocket. So now the front and back. You can glue this down, this back side down if you want. You can do it as a flip, make it into a flip, which I am going to be doing because I think they are adorable. And then you can decorate the in, your tag and have the picture show. So that's how easy it is, guys. It's really, really easy. And you can even do it uh, like a double pocket. So when you pull this out, there's something behind and you have a second window. So I'm going to just keep making some. I'm going to make uh, probably a couple more. I'm going to do that off camera and then we'll come back and do a couple cards, okay? Okay, I'm back. I made three and then I went ahead and cut tags. So there's, uh, this is the first one we did. This is the second one. And this is the third one. So I did three different sizes. <clears throat> and then I went ahead and made tags for each one, uh, and I used neutral for two of them, and then a pink and, or a red and blue for the other one, the other side's blue. So you can flip it over either way. So now we're going to decorate the insides of our tags, and I'm just going to use some flowers, um, you can do anything. Uh, you can put words on it. That's a pretty flower. That's a big one. So we use that for the big tag. This one has a, that's a base. And then, and then we'll get, you can put butterflies, you can put whatever you want inside. I'm going to, I don't want labels, I think I want words, like inspirational words. Let's see what we've got here. Happiness is... Oh, I like dreams. There's a precious. And I need to cut out some more words, I think. Here's wishes. Okay. So that's three. That's good enough. And then um, I want some tabs uh, to put on the top. So I'm going to pull. Oh, I don't have any. All right. I must have packed them away. I'll just have to make some. Uh... And when I make a tab for my journal cards, I just do uh, squares and then uh, fold them. And then I just round the corners. Oops. I got to use my circle punch. I forgot. If I put small paper in this. Well, I have another corner rounder, but I think I packed it. So, sorry about that craziness. I'll have to circle punch those when I get done. Am I just going to make three? 
So I'm just doing little rectangles and then I'll cut them down accordingly when I go to put them on. Okay, so we're going to decorate this one first. And then the back side is just plain white. You could put copy dyed paper on that. Um, actually, I think I will. Uh, oh, I have some uh, blue printable that was a freebie, so I'm just going to put that on the back because it will go with our border. And you don't have to back your cards if you don't want, but it just makes them a little more stable. So I like to. And then that way you can use it either, either way. My glue I found in this heat is getting very runny, <laughs> which is okay, but it just comes out of the bottle so fast that okay, so. This was our, this pocket. So one side is gonna look like that, which I think, oh, it's a little off camera, there we go. I think it's adorable. And then the other side, we're gonna put this big flower on. These are those wonderful stickers that I always have such a hard time getting started because I don't really have any nails these days. I've been doing so much with my hands I can't keep my nails groomed nicely. I don't know how you all do it but me not so much. I think I got polish on like three nails left from a ooh, week ago. I'm just putting this sticker down. Got a little extra glue on there. Don't want. Trying to get all the creases out. And then I think I'm going to put on here dreams. We're just going to put that down at the bottom. See how fast it comes out? I'm not even squeezing it. It's awful. And then it flies everywhere. This is put it's a sticker on vellum. Just Pressing it down a little bit. And then we'll just put our little tab on the top. I'll have to corner around it later because I like the, I mean the square works fine, don't get me wrong, but I like the rounded edges on my tabs. Trim up this side up just a little bit. It is a little crooked. Okay, so there's one tag, and we're gonna put 
that in our pocket. I just think this is such a great idea. So there we go. There's one side. And there's the other side. And so if you wanted to put it in your journal as a hinge, it's really cute. So let's get the other done and then so we decided this little one here we were going to put this little vellum vase and you don't have to do anything fancy you know, they just make really cute little tag holders for your journals and I'm just wiping that down. And then I'm going to put on this one the precious, but I want to cut off this. make it match the other side I'm not a real good fussy cutter it's not my forte I really admire those that can I'm too impatient so I need to Cut it down just a little bit more. I think, you know what? I'm going to take the cloud. Do it that way. I was cutting off camera. I apologize. Dog's going crazy, so hold on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. The lawnmower guy is uh, kicking rocks up against my garage door and the dog keeps barking. So I went ahead and finished off camera the two tags and I'll show you them now. So this says wishes. I didn't put anything on the back side, but I will. This one says precious. And then I'm going to leave the back side blank on that little one because I'm going to use it as a pocket. <clears throat> and this one says dreams. And that has the pretty collage paper on the back. So there you have it. These are using your leftover uh, clear bags from all the things we purchase and making beautiful pockets or flips. For your junk journals so that's it for today for mixed media monday i thank you for watching and i hope you have an awesome week and god bless you bye now